Today I'm going to do a video of how to make a song with literally only drums. So first, we're going to go ahead and slap in contact. And we're going to use drum lab. Huh. Hopefully y'all heard that. Uh, but we're going to use drum lab. Which is a lot easier than adding a bunch of drums, and crafting drums, using samples, and all this. So if you have a drum VST, it's best to use this. But let's let's get to it. Uh, it's been a while since I've launched FL, let alone Drum Lab. All right. Cool. Now we want to route our drums to a different channel. It's channel 9. I want it on 10. I'm weird. Drums. Change color. Done. Now we just want to do a basic. Uh, this is a basic little drum. I'm gonna go eight. Simple as that. Basic little kicks. I'm going more dubstep. You see why I have that actually we could go ahead and move those because we're going to use a uh, triplet pattern actually for the hats and we're just gonna make a random dmb slash dubstep ish kick pattern Is gonna, you know, we're going to uh, Like that. Good enough for me. Alright. Now. Here's the fun part. Now we want to go here. And we want to send this through a bunch of effects basically. But first we're going to go with Maximus. And we're going to go with No Walk. We want to quick render as audio clip done. So now we have a interesting audio clip. Now we want to go back to the drums or Maximus and we want to just actually we're going to keep that. We're going to reroute this here and we're going to unroute that here. And now the heck. All. Now we want to add our triplet hats. One third step. Uh, damn. I'm gonna have to zoom out some or zoom out some. So. Yeah. 
this is really bad. I haven't done this in a while. Maybe we want one third beat. We don't want it on any kicks or snares. You don't have to be actually. You see how like cool you can make something? We'll do. Let's add a crash. And again, this one's going to be a little weird, especially this part. It's not really in line with the kick, so that works. that one and then we're gonna just copy and paste too much work otherwise uh, I'm gonna change that that's good we kind of want that that's good this area is good this area we'll remove that one that one that's good that's good We'll do the same for those. Sounds pretty dope, I know. That's how easy it is, bro. And now, do the same thing. See how badass that sounds? Okay. Quick render as audio clip. Bam. Simple. Now, we need to change. So this would be rename Drums uh, M for Maximus. And now we want another one. Drums R. This is for Reactor. i make this one yellow. Or olive, I guess. Sure. Go back to drums, unroute it from there. Bam. Now we want to slap in a good old reactor. Here's where we get other elements for our. from Prism for our drums. with it, find a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's go ahead and send that out. Let's uh, go ahead and quick render as audio clip. Oh shit. Did I even do anything on the last two? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's try other stuff. Uh, oops, oh, oh, I'm messing up, my bad. Okay, that one has no sound because it's on a, I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> Isn't that 
crazy. That sounds pretty crazy. Slip a phaser on this bad boy, see what happens. Let's do uh, special effects. I don't like it. That's too much. Let's not do a phaser. We're just experimenting here, so don't be like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. Of course I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see what it sounds like. The water. Four beautiful audio clips. Two, three, four, oh, oh, five. Now we just open up our pattern, slap our original drums in there, deroute it, reroute it. Let's see what we could do. Go to go ahead and save. Only drums. Sounds pretty weird. I want to add a, uh, oops, um, I want to add a, a ping pong delay to that, actually. I'm going to use... something like this I don't want that much but you could like do something like this make unique as a sample and then you could what am I looking for oh I'm looking for this Okay. I don't know which is which. Nope, we want the first one.
but you want to pretty much chop that up. I'm not going to do that for this video. Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to do now. So, this is going to, this is where it really gets fun. We're going to use this one and we're going to do it here. Remove that. I don't know why I did that, but make unique. Uh, okay, we didn't, we don't want to remove that yet. Okay, make unique. Now I just want to chop this bad boy in half. I know there's a keybind for that, but let's just not. See what happens. And for this one, we could also chop this bad boy up. Ah. Uh. Make unique. And zoom out. 16 bars. See what happens. Pretty cool. Go back to this bad boy, hit all. Now we want to go to contact and we want to use a more fat drums now. Go to special. No, not special. I don't want destroyer. Dirty, my favorite. 33rd, 53rd S. Two again. I oh, already used it. Uh, what is this one again? Let's uh, make unique. Let's see what happens when we drag it. Let's chop off the tail. Obviously. I know there's key binds for this shit, but... Drums fatter if you wanted. So that actually new, new, new. What I need to do is go back to sell. See how that sounds from this. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. 
Is that a fucking stand up? the whole entire mix. Let's just do it. <laughs> Oh, that was put from a weird, that's why it sounded so weird. You can also throw the other tracks, the other buses, and reshape them like... You can remove a bunch. So if we take these four, we want to go back to the Maximus preset. So we could go to Maximus on these four, like so. Remove the Maximus on the master. some EQing, make a band. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that works, too. Make a band, and you could uh, automate the band. Let's go ahead and do that. Create automation clipper. Go ahead and do that. Create automation clipper. <laughs> So, we're just going to do some randomness. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save. Let's just do some randomness. Uh, I like to look at my automation clips huge. Gives me better view. So this is band one. It's where it starts. We could, uh, oops. It's at what? 23%. Put it here, 23%. And then we want to just have it peak out. Let's do 50. Or 50. 70. <laughs> you don't want to do that too much. I actually sound pretty decent. Uh, this one, I could kill it. For this low vibe right here, bring it back like so. That don't really matter. See, you can do some crazy stuff. Let's go ahead. Where is this? 87, I guess. And do pretty much the opposite. Drop it down. 
That was horrendous. Let's not do so much. For this one, we want to do the same. Let's just max it out. Right. You do some stupid shit. It just makes sound. sound design. Let's just do some random stuff. See what happens. Oh shit, we're gonna need this one mainly low actually. So we wanna drop those. These ones, let's just do back and forth. Just some stupid shit. Pretty much it. Almost 30 minutes, and I don't want to really go. Oh, dude, this is on 1080p. I am so sorry. Uh, I'm not re-recording this. I know this is 4K screen. Some of it might be a little blurry from downscaling. Uh, so you might have trouble seeing some stuff. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Please forgive me. But that's how you basically make a song without. <laughs> I said let's destroy <laughs> Yeah, that's how you make a drum uh, or a uh, song with only drums, literally only drums. All you see is drums, re-recording, using FX, doing stupid shit, don't really need that. Just doing stupid stuff. Dude. That's really hard to hear, uh, I don't, I mean. Honestly, it sounds cool. Slap that on a channel and only have your drums go through something like that. So we could delete that. Oops. And uh, let's destroy the drums real quick. Let's go back to the black box. <laughs>
destroyed on that over the drums so it was basically like all the channels so you make like a bunch of random buses and just put them together and destroy sound even more and you can make some really cool technical EDM but that's that's the gist of it sorry about 1080p hopefully you enjoyed